In this video of C Sharp Basics, we're going to be creating a solution and a project. There are two different ways that you can create a project. You can either select the new project link from the start page, or you can use the file menu system and go through a series of menus in order to create the project. Once you've done so, you need to select a project template from the screen that you'll be presented with. From there, you'll also need to give a name to the project and finally, a location on your hard drive where the project should be stored. So here I have Microsoft Visual Studio open to the start page, which should be the first page you see when you first open it. You'll see over here on the left hand side, we can click on the link new project here under the start menu option. Clicking on the new project link brings up the new project window. Additionally, you can also select file, new, project and that will take you to the same new project window. In the new project window you can see the templates listed on the left hand side with some subcategories indicating what the programming language is that the template is for. We're going to go ahead and select Visual C Sharp and you can see that the middle pane now has all of this Visual C Sharp templates available. Additionally we can narrow this down to a subcategory of just Windows applications. And here we can see console application along with other types of templates. So we're going to go ahead and pick the console application. Then down here, we're going to go ahead and give our application a name. We're going to call it basic course. Then once we've done that, we can go ahead and select the location that we want to store the project to. By default, it's going to be stored in the documents folder of the user, then backslash visual studio 2015 and then projects. You can go ahead and click on browse in order to change the location that you want to store your application to, or you can just go ahead and type the new location here in the location bar. Once you've done that and you're ready to go, just go ahead and click on the OK button. Once the project is built, you should see a screen that looks similar to mine, and you should have your solution over here on the right hand side in Solution Explorer, as well as the basic course project listed underneath the solution. 